Hello everyone and welcome back to more crimes and punishments. Now I believe we have to go and uh, check the ship logs. Oh man, that weird running. Which probably are not in evidence. It's, I think we have to go back once again to the, to the hut. Because I remember seeing those on the shelf, but we couldn't investigate them at the time. So that means we got to take... Wow, running in this... <laughs> it's annoying. Can't turn around. Uh, we gotta go back to Woodman's Lee. Woodsman's Lee, whichever. You know what I meant. Oh, yes, let's see if we have any deductions to make between uh, those guys. Can't remember their names. Uh, these have all been taken care of. Space clues. Mm, nope, nothing new. Well, as soon as we get those logs. Uh, I assume it'll be wrapped up soon, I think. Wow, uh, that, uh, the trunk of that tree looked like some kind of alien as I was walking up here. It's freaky. All right, ship's logs. I remember seeing them. 1883. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Okay. Um... This is the crew list <clears throat> of the Sea Unicorn. Yes. Um, log okay. notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Uh-oh. Hmm. Clicky. Log notes for yes. August. Canadian Pacific Railway. CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Hmm. To the shipyard, I think. CPR. Hmm, 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 yeah. So, what are they going to allow us to do? Find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. Wiggins might help to find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. He should be somewhere at Baker Street. Right. Back home <laughs> again. Wow, this detective stuff is a lot of running around. And, and riding in carriages. But I hope you've enjoyed this game. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on picking it up so you could play through the rest of the cases. I don't think you're going to see any more past this first case here on this channel. Got some other videos coming up. We got Alien Isolation coming out soon and Styx Master of Shadows. I'm going to be playing through Styx and getting that up. Uh, so I'll have a lot of those ready on release day. Alien Isolation might just be streaming that. So come on by for those. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Really? You always have a urchin? Hmm. Oh, not again. Why? Why is she always dead? I thought maybe if I go over here, I would call the urchin. Yeah, Wiggins. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? 
I've been waiting for At two your months. Service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of <laughs> sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. That's stereotype. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Back in the garage. Uh, what happened now? Let's make sure meet him. Okay, I want to make sure I didn't do anything first. I'll use up all my month's wages on carriage fees. Alright. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. <laughs> okay. Uh, an evidence room? Why are you turning around? I don't get it. Alright, Hurley's belongings. These are the suspect's belongings. Here we go with the boots. But they fit. Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. I took them. Here, the stains are there. fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Okay, I'm assuming they're going to give us a task. Like, go back and examine the things at our... Yes, it was covered in ink stains. Form analysis. Piece of a stock exchange certificate belonging to the community. Yeah, we read that, but uh, find a use. And we're gonna go see if these fit the <laughs> prints in the garden, which are somehow still gonna be there days later. Interrogate new suspect. Oh yes. Wow. Right. I thought cases would be shorter, but apparently we get to do more. More. New suspect. Ah, here I come. Don't mind me, I have trouble walking. Oh, what's up? There he is. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral you are a suspect in a murder case i know inspector lestrade told me it's ridiculous could you at least tell me who you are and exactly what happened that you should be brought here my name is liam hurtley that i can tell you but you're not getting any more than that well we shall see Okay, let us investigate. Uh, A. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, 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 I'm missing things. Old scar. Did I miss things? I forgot it's got a light up blue. Gardener's hands. That's. Handkerchief. With crested tit. Oh. What is that? Plant remains. 
That's all for now. That was it? Oh. Um. Okay. Tab. Character profile. Our soldier. Do, 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 do. Cry alive. Um. Well, I think we just gotta go to the garden, compare the boots, and back to our place to perform the analysis. So let's go hop in the carriage. And let's go to Woodman's Lee. to stick the boot in there. I don't know why they let us take the boot. These boots match the footprints exactly. Is the game a foot? <laughs> what happened? Proving he was there. She denies that he was their gardener. She denied there was a gardener. She didn't say him, right? Should we go talk to her again? I think we best, and I think we should run across all of her plants. She's still sitting here, days later. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Liar! Thank you, madam. Oh, she lied to my face. Come on, she lied straight to me. Ugh. Ugh. It seems that the garden was well maintained. All right, back to the... Back to the base. I'll take care of this. I'll dump some random chemicals on it. That'll do it. Gotta draw a deep breath, I think. Okay. Where is Ooh, Watson's room? Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't mind. Ooh, do, 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 do. Where is our stuff to pour chemicals and do things with? Here we go. Yes. Oh, hey, oh. Cover Hurtley's letter. Mm -hmm. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Okay. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Uh, was that again? First one, they should all be used? I think that's what he said. Isn't that what he said? <laughs> I think that's what he said. Everything should be no, used. No, something isn't right. What? I need to start the uh! reaction from the beginning again. I thought he said everything should be used. Tell me what you said again. All right, fine. What'd I do? I was trying to pay attention. Wait, First condition. There we go. All seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. He said all seven. All right, fine. Blue, blue. Colorless, colorless, orange. Oh, it's because I added two orange. Okay. Orange. All seven? What was he talking about? Um. That's orange, orange, colors, colors. Blue. Yeah, let's just play around. Dum 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 dum. Burn. 
No, something isn't <sighs> right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Wait, why did he cross that off? We didn't actually do orange and then colorless. I'm gonna slightly confused by the process. Let's try it again. Let's just do orange and colorless and see if he freaks out. I thought I was actually paying attention here. Nope. Oh. Hmm. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of. Stop it. Blue. I'm just working backwards. And then. Green. Oh, oh, colorless. Wait, there we go. And then orange. I don't know what I did, but I might have done it right. Let's see if orange. Come on. Oh, I might have figured something out. I might have done it right. That should be it. Bob's your uncle. I need to. Seriously? What are you doing? I thought that was it. Okay, everything's now in there. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. I, I, okay, we're gonna listen to this again. You tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay, here we go. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. I... I don't know. I don't know. We're going to follow this middle line. We may be stumped here. Let's do blue, green. The colorless. And then orange. There's two question marks there, though. And then orange and then colorless. I understand this third condition, first condition stuff. Science craps over my head. No. Dang it! Isn't right. Stop crossing off the bottom one. That confuses me. Skip it. Wait, no, 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 not like the whole thing. Brick. Wish I understood this. Uh they suck. He said first condition, all seven reagents must be used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's two of those, two of those, two of those, one of those. Right? So he's supposed to try all those first. And then it's the second condition. Blue. Blah, first blah, First condition. <clears throat> all seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition. The third one in the sequence. Colorless reagent after. should be added after the orange reagent. <clears throat> I'm going to try that again. Third after the blue. So blue, da 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 orange let's try that except for this time we'll go blue oh second condition oh it's like second condition like all of them must be used but here's the conditions first of all it has to go blue something something orange and then colorless has to be after orange so that means blue green blue orange colorless colorless I think I get it now but something like that. All right, let's try blue, green, blue, and then the third one needs to be orange. Hold on, wait for it. Blue, green, blue, orange, colorless, and then what? And then what? Oh, we're onto something. And then another orange, and then colorless. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh, we might be on to something. Done. Yes! Now I can proceed further. Oh, thank goodness. Why don't you write that down, man? I get it now. Condition. It's a condition of using all seven. Sheds a little light upon the mystery. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Scratch, 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 scratch. Swipe, wipe, swipe, 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 swipe. 
Oh, I'm not actually holding it down. There you go. I was just wiggling it around. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? I don't know, but I beg you to reconsider, right? Sweet and remember our vows. I've done nothing desirable for which you, me. Hmm. Back to Scotland Yard. Here we go. Watson, care to tag along? Repetitive. Yeah, I get it now. It just wasn't, the word condition wasn't occurring to me. You had to use all seven, but there were two conditions to using them all. One, that orange had to be used third after blue, and colorless after orange. So, once you actually know what they're talking about, Bob's your uncle. We did it. I'm back! I'm out of breath! What the? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Mm -mm. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven... Wait, what? Would you care to explain it? Proven? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? We didn't prove it. Uh, welcome back. What? Select the correct answer. Oh, bugger. Now that your presence really? at Woodman's Lee wow. has There's no failing. Proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? So what's with the Q? Why do I have to press Q? Okay. Uh, didn't I click Gardener? No, well kept Garden and... What? Does not make any sense? What do you what do you mean? What do you mean? What? It was guard. Now that your presence oh. at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? Kill me. I don't remember. What, what would, would I be doing, doing there anyway? anyway? What do you? No. Isn't that what I clicked? We tried that. We tried that. Wait, did I try Welcome Garden? Oh dang it! Oh dang it! He's a gardener. Did I click that? Because you are the gardener I at Woodman's like Lee. I'm not. How did you? I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. I swear we clicked on gardener and he crossed it off. Whatever. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? Mm. Oh, yes. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Hmm. Really? Back there again? Okay. You say so. Here we go again. Back to look at the tools. You're sending us on a wild 
Goose Jess. Is there any more deductions to be had? Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. And we're off once again. Tools. Um, this little box on the side, I assume. I presume. Nope. Tools. Where are the tools? What are these noises? Oh, tools will be up here. Locked. Uh, Locked. Well, let me in. You gotta talk to her again. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Oh, she's a silly one. Okay. Let's see what could be hidden here. Chica, 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 chica. Is there a little vision? Nope. Mm. I already pressed T. What are you doing, my game? I already pressed T. Why are you telling me to press it again? Oh, the board. I think they're talking about that board right there. How do we get it up? Stop telling me to do it. Okay. Oh, click while it's... Oh, I just had to click three times there. That's interesting. Okay, that's very strange. Oh, that works. There we go. Hmm. Let us see what is in this box. Rotate the lock cylinders to form a complete line. Please note that some lines are deceptive. Rotate... All rotate uh, switch. Okay. Slightly confusing. Oh, I have to. I see. I see now. That is not how locks work. I don't understand. But all right, I'll play. I'll play along. Bazinga. Sure. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hertley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. <laughs> that is interesting. Liam, my dear, you have been so good to me all the time that I have known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fear it might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Uh-oh. You in trouble. He killed him so he could be with you forever. What's this? I saw something. Something popped up. Something popped up when I was walking, walking by. Hmm. Confrontation. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. You know. Whoops. Try again. You know what I meant. Stop it. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? We've been down this. Oh, they switch them around, that's why. Romantic correspondence. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, 
I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... After what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Oh, my. Still. Um, uh, what's up? Our confession. Yes. And that. Government committing murder. Yeah, but he probably didn't. It's probably way more complicated. Liam Hurley's relationship with Carrie gives him motive for being. Yes, we know. Great. Great Scott is more like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think we're going to end this one here. Apparently, this one case requires a fourth part, even. So, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying. And I will see you next time.